Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be using level one tick data on an options contract with the hopes of identifying the trades at the bid and the ask. And we're gonna create a data frame that will return the number of trades at the bid and the ask for each price. We will hopefully see the level of interest at each price given our subset. And then finally, we're just gonna plot these levels against the price and see if we can visually identify some pivot points or interest points. We're gonna start off by requiring these packages and we're gonna go ahead and read in our tick data which is just a small sample of this options contract that was pulled from the TD Ameritrade API. So to show you what that looks like, we have various columns, but we're just gonna focus on a couple of these columns, not all, which is in our next section. So after you read that in, the columns you would need are the bid price, the ask price, the bid and ask size, the last price, and also the last size. We're gonna convert that as an XTS object, and we're also gonna add the book total, which is just the sum of the bid and ask size. Now, if we take a look at BA quotes, it should look something like this if you're reading in your own data. We're gonna go ahead and convert this last price column into one second intervals, which is within the same block. So that's this section here. And we're gonna use that later when we plot the support and resistance levels. Now to create the summary table, we're gonna do a bit of aggregation. So if we take a look at DF, we see that the first column is the last price that was actually traded, the number of trades for that specific price, the number of bids at that specific price, and also the number of trades on the ask for this specific price. Now that we have the summary table, we can add percentages. So for the first row, we see that 100% of the trades at this price were at the bid, zero on the ask. And what I wanted to extract from this table are levels where we see a significant skew. So for instance, at the price level of 62 cents, there was a total of 237 trades and 228 or 96% were at the bid. So for us that are trading, we see the bids as potential sales and the prices at the ask as potential buys. But if we reverse the roles and view this from the market maker side, the ask would be sales since they're selling us the contract at that price and buys on the bid. So if we were to view it in that sense at 62 cents, that would be considerable support and if the ask was considerably high, such as at 68 cents, that would be a tough level of resistance. Now with that logic, if we go back to our script, we're gonna subset cases where the bid or the ask were above 95% and when the number of trades was greater than one. So we take a look at support and resistance. We see that we found six cases for support and three cases for resistance. Now, since we have created the one second intervals for the last traded price, we're gonna go ahead and plot these levels against the actual price of the contract. So in the last chunk, we're gonna convert our second intervals into minutes. We're gonna use chart series to plot it and plot the support and resistance lines. And if we take a look at that plot, we see our three levels of resistance and our six levels of support using these green lines. What I found interesting, and I'm not sure if it's an anomaly, but we see that this was a hard resistance, which was a local high at 90 cents. And if we take a look at our data for resistance at 90 cents, we see that 100% of these trades were at the ask. Similarly, when there was 100% of the trades on the bid, which was 49 cents. If we take a look at our plot here again, we see that 49 cents was a hard support line which got tested multiple times. So I'm not sure if those were anomalies. We would need to do more checking, but I just found it quite interesting. So I wanted to share that with you guys. But with that, this concludes the video. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.